every chance it could miss. Worlds, oh, Moa actually switches out. Oh, that's even better for us. Tapu Koko coming in, even better. Okay, Sceptile, Mega Evolve. If we can get the Groudon on here, this will pull us right back into the game. So there we go, Sceptile. Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we're going to be continuing on with this ho -Oh and Kyogre team that we kicked off with in yesterday's episode. So, uh, we've made a few changes as you can probably see on the screen. As always, the team is down in the description below. There is a roll paste and a poker paste, and as always, if you do want to try it out, do let me know how you get on with it. So, to explain a few of the changes here, we've introduced... Uh, Mega Sceptile into the team. Mega Sceptile is a Pokemon that I do think has a lot of potential, so I wanted to give it a try. It's also got the Lightning Rod ability, which really protects things like ho or things like Kyogre, especially from those electric type attacks that really threaten the team. Um, we've also got uh, Kanto Raichu in there to really kind of just sure up that, that uh, Tapu Koko matchup, even though Sceptile is vulnerable to obviously Dazzling Gleams and things like that. It can hit Ultra Necrozma, Rayquaza, Salamence for really good damage. Things that do generally give the team a lot of issues. Also Kyogre as well. Now, there is an argument for always throwing in something like Ferrothorn. Now, we had the Cartana there. We didn't really bring it yesterday, so I was thinking maybe we'll try the Ferrothorn. We obviously had Stu asking where it was in yesterday's episode. But the one thing I like uh, when I'm playing this sort of build is to have something faster than Kyogre that can put pressure on it, KO it before it can move or do a big damage to it to at least alleviate some of the pressure on other members of the team. So that is why I kind of opted for Cortana yesterday and then again why I feel like Sceptile is maybe something I want to try. So that's what we're going to go with in today's episode. Hopefully it'll be a lot of fun and hopefully we get things moving. It's only two games so we're not going to get a lot of chance to get everything working today and hopefully we'll try this over a couple of days and see how it goes so we'll hop into it now we'll get into it as always if you do enjoy this sort of content please remember to drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content and uh, leave your comments down below let me know what your thoughts are on mega Sceptile as a mega in this format do you think it has potential we've got hidden power water on it as well to kind of snipe those Groudons in a really tight situation so we've got a first opponent great so i'll hop straight into team preview Right, our first opponent today is running a team of Lunala, Groudon, Mawile, Hydreigon, Tepacoco, and Incineroar. So you've got the restricted combination of Lunala, Groudon there. Really strong combination. Offers a lot of support uh, from the Lunala with its speed control options of Tailwind, Trick Room. Uh, it's definitely going to have Trick Room, I think, on this sort of variant because of the Mega Mawile there that you really want to try and get set up and then going under a Trick Room environment. It could have Tailwind as well. We've seen Mawiles in a Tailwind environment in the past. Uh, Hydreigon likely to carry Tailwind if it's not on the Lunala though, but Hydreigon a nice, in, you know, Pokemon here. Sceptile does a nice job against the, the Hydreigon. It does put off the Tapu Koko using those electric type attacks as well. Um, we've got to be careful around the Trick Room though. But Stack Attacker does well under a Trick Room, especially with Kyogre support and Y Guard support that we've got there. So I think we've got tools here that we can utilize um, to help us kind of get around this sort of team. Uh, it's just what do we bring? I mean, Incineroar Sceptile could be decent here as a lead, and then I don't really feel like ho -Oh is going to be... Well, I don't know. ho -Oh is not bad, to be honest. Um, I do want to bring Kyogre. I'm just more inclined to bring Stacker because of the Trick Room threat that my opponent's going to go for here. So we'll try this out first. We'll leave the bird at home. Hopefully we can bring it in the next game. And we'll see how we get on in this first one today. But it should be good. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying out Mega Sceptile. Because it's one of those Megas that I think gets forgotten about a lot of the time. And it does have the ability to outspeed a lot of the format. And it can hit a lot of the format for really good damage. Got to be careful around these... Um, <laughs> the Steels, the Fairies that can do a lot of... Well, not the Steels, but you know, the Fairy types that can do a lot of damage to it. Um... Now we're going to see Lunala and we're going to see more while come out from my opponent. I think one thing we could potentially do here is just Snarl. Um, we've got the Intimidate onto the Mawile, so that's nice. Um, and maybe switch in Stack Attacker for Sceptile. Um, I don't really need to fake out here, I don't think. I don't really fear the Mawile too much. 
um, whatever it can throw out onto the stack attacker. It's not really going to be doing too much either an iron head or a player rough. Have to be careful. Maybe it has brick break. Maybe. I doubt it though. We've seen it before. Anyway, we'll switch out Sceptile. We'll keep that around for later on. Um, and we'll bring in stacks and see what we can do here. Uh, we're going to see the more while Mega Evolve. So it's losing that Intimidate, gaining that huge power. It's still going to be able to hit Incineroar for good damage. It might want to protect here though. Oh, we're not seeing it. We're just seeing the Z move come out from my opponent straight away. Uh, it's going to be into the, the Sceptile slot. So it's likely that we might lose... Um, stack attacker. We'll have to cut and into the stack attacker. It is. Let's see what we, we do here. <laughs> straight down. The thing is, like, we could have went for a flare blitz straight into that mobile, which would have been good. I mean, we are weakening the Lunala, um, but we'll see what this mobile throws. It's going to be a play rough, I, I would imagine. Uh, it's going to do decent damage to the Incineroar as well. Play rough, there we go. Oh, it avoids. Classic play rough. Um, and this is one of the reasons why Mowile isn't used probably as much as you'd maybe expect it to be. Um, hmm. Now, we can't really bring in Kyogre because uh, the fact that... I mean, one of the things we could try and do is bait in the Groudon by bringing in a Kyogre, switching straight out into Sceptile and um, going for... A flare blitz into the mobile, hoping that the Groudon comes in. The problem is, though, I mean, that, it's not a bad idea to do, to be honest. I would just worry about the trick room coming up, maybe. But I don't think you leave mobile in. I think you probably switch mobile out now. That would be my guess, really. Out of the two, what are you going to switch out? You're going to switch out probably more while, right? So we could probably get away with going for another Snarl and then switching Sceptile in on, on Kyogre. Things are getting hard already. Uh, Lunala going out. It is going to be the switch. I can't believe it. We kind of could have went for the Flare Blitz, like we said. I just would have thought that the Mowile would have felt more threatened here. All right. Well... Hopefully we don't see a player rough into that Kyogre slot because that would be horrendous for us because Sceptile will go down. I mean, we will get our, our Kyogre back in, but then the match is kind of done, isn't it? Kyogre coming out. We're just making all the wrong the wrong calls here, really, aren't we? Um, we'll get it right with the team. I think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, to be honest. Uh, let's see what we're going to see my opponent go for. <sighs> right, play rough. That's into the incineral at least. Okay, well, that's not the worst. Now, we can remove the Groudon from the field uh, by... We're going to lose Sceptile, I think, at the same time with doing this. We'll Mega Evolve and Hidden Power Water into the Groudon, uh, switching Kyogre. And hopefully the Groudon doesn't protect here because I think the Groudon probably feels like it can get the Incineroar, it can get a Precipice Blades off pretty free uh, if the Kyogre does decide to switch in. And I think the Moa will go for a player off into that Sceptile. And there's every chance it could miss. Every chance it could miss. Worlds. Oh, Moa actually switches out. Oh, that's even better for us. Type of Coco coming in, even better. Okay. Sceptile, Mega Evolve. If we can get the Grout on here, this will pull us right back into the game. So there we go. Sceptile doing his thing. Hidden power. We get the Grout on! Yay! <laughs> okay, after all these wrong turns, we get something right. So we're on the right track right now. Sceptile putting in some work. And uh, life is made a little bit easier against this type of Coco. Uh, because my opponent has to go for the Dazzling Gleam with the, the Coco now with the Lightning Rod active on the field. The, the Lunala are going to come back in, which is fine. It's burnt its Z-move, which is uh, which is alright. We can Scald. I'm kind of thinking that we'll probably see a Wide Guard here. Maybe, if we don't see an attack. I'm going to just Scald into the Coco, though. Um, if Coco stays in, then it takes that. If it switches out, we'll protect the Sceptile from a uh, potential... 
Dazzling Gleam, there's the white guard, so Lunala not doing anything this turn, that's great. We're going to see probably a Dazzle. Has to Dazzle, yeah. And the thing is, the next turn, Sceptile can take down the Tapu Koko, and we can focus our energy with Kyogre onto this Lunala, which is really nice. So, Skull actually taking the Koko down, which is perfect. Alright, um, and then the Mowile to come back in. The threat of... Um, uh, do they wide guard the next turn? I don't know. Do they? Do they? We've got Incineroar in the back. It's probably worth bringing Incineroar in, to be honest. Um, getting the Intimidate onto the Mawile. Getting a Scald onto it as well. And hopefully we take another player off from this Mawile. Oh, I started this off when we started. I was like... I mean, it's not over yet, but I was like, we're definitely going to lose this game. We should take a player off if it comes out. Side shock coming into the Kyogre. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, we do take that quite comfortably, though, because Kyogre's just a beast. Uh, the Scald, not picking up the knockout. No burn. Uh, player off, yeah. Proca Berry. Berry! There we go. So, back in business, my friends. Um... Yeah, we're, we're fine now, aren't we? Um, I mean, one of the things we could do is switch Kyogre out into Sceptile, Flare Blitz, the Mawile. Um, I just feel like we'll probably get Psy shocked from the... I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch Sceptile out, and I'm going to go for a Flare Blitz into the Mawile, just to get rid of it. Because the Lunala Fire Incineroar is no threat at all. Once we remove the Mawile, it can protect here, that's fine. Uh, Sceptile will take a, a Psy Shock or a Moonguise Beam, whatever comes into it. Sucker Punch coming out, it does fail as a Psy Shock, like we say. Once we remove the Mawile, um, Incineroar can win this game for us, so it should be fine. Flare Blitz and uh, team's doing alright. I'm surprised that we actually pulled it back from where we were. Um, but it goes to show. If you can make those, re you know, like it, the surprise play, wasn't it? The Hidden Power Water, but coming in clutch with the Sceptile there. And helping us against the Tapu Koko, whereas before we had no answer at all. Right, let's go for a, um, let's go for a Leaf Storm. Let's see what the damage is like, and uh, we'll just Snarl as well. We might see the forfeit here. No, I'm going to get the Leaf Storm. Let's see how much damage this does. Come on, let's see. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad damage against the Lunala. Moonguys Beam will come out. It will pick up the knockout onto Sceptile. Um, but the Snarl should be enough to um, to net the kill there. Oh, gone for the Incineroar. Snarl and Incy pulling out the win. So very good game to my opponent. A nice win for us here, as I say. <laughs> I didn't feel so confident after like turn two, I thought. Ah, oh, it's a goal going downhill. But Sceptile, the Mega... The main man of the team, the main girl of the team, whichever one you want to look at, uh, pulling through with that hidden power water, and then uh, the, just the, the presence of it with that lightning rod against the Coco gives us enough room to deal with it with Kyogre. So, excellent start for us today. Hopefully, that all continues. Uh, we don't want to save that, and uh, we'll move on to our next game. It's also nice, you know, um, I think one of the things is you kind of forget about these Megas that potentially have a little bit of. Um, Potential and uh, they get overlooked and then when you throw them into a team you think ah, it's really meme isn't it? It's just a gimmick, but I think sometimes um, It's a little mistranslated and these Pokemon can actually perform quite well in the right environment um, And if you've got the right reasoning for it And I think you can justify why you've got it in the team like I said at the very start uh, I do worry about Kyogre opposing Kyogre more than anything else um, and it's against us, so we've got at least two ways to deal with it now. You know, we've got the Raichu, we've got the uh, Voltacle on there that can pick up the knockout onto it uh, if we needed to, um, and then we've got the Sceptile as well. Both Pokemon as well outspeed it. We've got to really just manage our speed control. We've got Tailwind, we've got Trick Room on the team though, so we've got enough options 
in our team to kind of get around and support the other members of the team but just without any speed control at all because speed control does end you you want to be able to have those situations where you're not going to lose instantly if you're if your speed control if you can't get it up or you're, you're not managing it very well so uh, that's why we've got the right you and the septile in the team to kind of help us out in different scenarios because i'm not always going to be able to bring the septile in those matches hopefully i'll be able to bring the right you and vice versa so um it's just Lunala Groudon today. What's happening? Every time we play, we get the same cause, game one and game two. So we'll hop straight into team preview. I think this is the World Championships uh, winning team, uh, which is, again, going to be Lunala Groudon. Uh, Tailwind going to be the predominant uh, speed control method here. Although you have got the Trick Room as well with the Stack Attacker. Support and cast of Mega Salamence with that Intimidate support along with the Incineroar that carries that, along with Fake Out, good pivot, uh, dark typing as well, protects that Lunala, really nice switching for it. Um, Tapu Fini for the Terrain support and then the Stack Attacker, like I say, for that Trick Room mode as well. So, um, obviously, Kyogre going to be really good here. Could uh, Sceptile be good? Sceptile could be good in this matchup. Again, um, I think I want to lead Sceptile in Cinero. Sceptile's going to be able to nab the KO onto the Salamence, hopefully. Does some nice damage to the, the Tapu Fini, the Stack Attacker, and as we've seen in the previous match, can get the ground on with that cheeky switch in. We'll go with Kyogre. Um, and do I want ho in this match? ho could be generally quite good. I have to be a bit careful around the uh, the stack attacker, of course. Um, and we could bring our own stacker just to give us a bit of protection. Um, but I'm going to go with a bird. Last minute decision because we didn't bring the bird in the last game. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us in the butt. But I'm sure it won't. Um... We'll see how we get on. This team's always going to be hard to deal with. And if it is the the, the identical team to the, the World Championships winning team, then it, it, we know the Finney has Protect. So there's there's li little oddities here. And the Finney's going to be um, something we need to watch out for. All right, so Salamence and Lunala coming out for my opponent. Um, now, Lunala does cause us a few headaches here. Because it can pick up a knockout onto the Sceptile, although it doesn't hold the Z move. Um, we could just go straight for the Mega Evolution and go for Dragon Pulse into Salamence. I just don't want to lose Sceptile to him on, but I don't want to allow my opponent to get Tailwind up either. So, <sighs> is the Dragon Pulse too obvious into Salamence? Probably. I mean, if we got switches, we could switch in ho -Oh. We could definitely do that. Um, and just go for a Snarl. And then preserve the Sceptile for a little later in the game. Which I think might be a little bit smarter. Because Sceptile gives us that, that really solid answer to the Groudon. Um, I'm going to go for the Snarl. And switch into ho -Oh. We'll preserve Sceptile. I don't want it going down just now. I'll kick myself, obviously, if the Salamence doesn't protect it and we could have got a Dragon Pulse off. I just feel like it's too obvious. And I feel like, yeah, we're not going to be allowed to, to get that off. So we're going to see the Groudon come in. Uh, which is fine. Fine, fine, fine. Because we can use that Weather Ball as well. Hopefully, this would be a good episode if we can get this Weather Ball going. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, Desolate Land going to pop up. And there's a snarl. We're going to see a trick room. That's fine, though. That's fine. I really don't mind that too much. Um, because once a Groudon goes down, I think if we can preserve Incineroar, life gets a lot easier for um, a Sceptile once the Groudon is removed from the field. And Heart Ore as well, to be honest. So what I'm going to do, switch into Kyogre. My opponent probably knows I will do this. But we will go for that Weather Ball with our ho -Oh. I don't think this Groudon has any Rock-type attacks. If it does, we might be in a little bit of trouble. But we know the Lunala's not got the Z-move. So we're not really... If the Groudon hasn't got Rock Slide or something like that, then we know we're not really in any trouble. Ho-Oh can uh, 
The rain will come up, Kyogre will be able to uh, take the attacks. It should take a Precipice Blades and a Moongeist Beam <coughs> from these two. And uh, we should pick up the, the Groudon kill here. So, let's see. See how it goes. <coughs> right, Kyogre going to hit the field. Going to overwrite the weather. So many times this has happened in this format. There's a Primordial Sea. I'm excited about the weather ball though. Why God? <laughs> oh, come on! Precipice blades. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. <laughs> We're gonna get it. Kyle gonna take that pretty comfortably. Weather ball. <laughs> come on, ho! Oh, oh, you, you, absolutely the best bird. Bye bye, Groudon. Bye bye. See you later. Adios, amigos. There we go. Get rid of the Groudon. Ah. Oh. Feels good, feels good. I hope you're enjoying this, my friends. The big bird and the uh, the bison, the water bison, doing their thing. Now, Stax is coming in. Makes things a little bit more difficult for us. Um, all right. <clears throat> Are we going to take a rock slide? I don't know. We need to intimidate. I mean, we could, we could potentially just get... Incineroar onto the field now. Um, we're going to take a rock slide regardless, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll bring in Incineroar. We'll protect Kyogre. Because we want to try and not allow Kyogre to get taken down this turn. A rock slide and a moon guys probably will get us at least the next turn. We can, um, we can snarl, we can fake out the stack attacker, we can go for some, some things. Um, but we need to try and nerf that stacks in the minute. Oh, it has the Rockium, I'm sure, doesn't it? It has the Rockium Z. No! We're going to lose Incineroar. Unless it goes into the Kyogre. Knowing that uh, the, the, the Hotel is not really the issue here. Um, and thinking, well, we've got Rock Slide. We can take it down the next turn if we just get rid of this Kyogre. But it's not often to do that. Uh, is gone into Incineroar. Can we take it minus one? I doubt it. That is going to make things a lot more difficult for us. Especially after a beast boost. Oh, we might lose this. After the hype, we might lose this now. <sighs> yeah, because we need to stall out the trick room. Um, we'll bring in Sceptile. Like, it's just neutral now. It's not plus one or anything. It's just what, how fast that Lunala is. That's If we can get a Scald into the stack attacker, it makes things a lot easier. Um, how many turns of Trick Room we've got left? Two. Okay, so we need to attack, really, this turn. Um, and then we can double protect. Uh, I'd rather preserve Sceptile though for the Salamence matchup later. We could try a double protect. I think you're going to target. I really do think you probably target the Kyogre here over everything else. I'm going to Leaf Storm and I'm going to I'm going to double up into the Stacker here. Lunala switching out. Okay, well that makes things a little bit easier because we should take a Rock Slide with both both targets here. Unless we see a gyro ball. Sceptile. Mega evolving. Has to rock slide. The Kyogre's too much of a threat. Oh, Stone Edge and it misses. <laughs> I don't think we would have taken that. Okay, well. These low accuracy moves today are being very kind to us. Leaf Storm. Not ideal, really, into the Salamence. <clears throat> We've got one turn of Trick Room left. We need to switch out our uh, Sceptile. 100%. I think the Stone Edge would have taken Kyogre down there. I really need to do the Calc. If any of you out there that have time, do that Calc. Stack Attacker. It was neutral, so we got an Intimidate onto it. I got a Beast Boost, so just neutral uh, attack stat. Um, yeah, we'll switch Sceptile out into ho or and we'll... We'll try and get an ice beam onto the Mens. I don't think the Mens is going to 
attack, it has to protect here, really, doesn't it? Um, my opponent needs to try and get a Tailwind up, and if the Lunala hasn't got Tailwind, then um, we probably would have been better going for a Scald into the Lunala, knowing that it's got Wide Guard, but it probably... Has it got Protect as well? I'm not sure. I don't really know the details too much of the the, the, the World Champs winning team, to be honest. So, I don't know, but we'll make this play. We'll, we need to reset the, the special attack drop from Sceptile. And Hot is in pretty decent shape right now. Salamence Mega Evolving. It's bound to protect. It's bound to protect. Yeah. Okay, that's the protect. Okay. We guess beam. Where are you going? Interceptor, maybe? Into this hole? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, you know, I want a tailwind. I really do want a tailwind. But... We've just got to, I think, concentrate down on the Lunala here. It's got Brave Bird into it, and... Hmm. It's not going to trick room, I don't think, unless they suspect it's Tailwind. What could they do? Salamence could Tailwind, I guess. I don't think it will. Let's Tailwind. This could be the end of the game for us. If we see a Trick Room here, I think we lose. But I'm going to Tailwind. Protect Kyogre. At worst, we match Tailwinds, I think. Double Edge. Oh, no. I think we're going to see a Trick Room. No! <laughs> oh, no. Oh. It's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. Um, hmm. Oh, it would have been so much... Ah, oh, what have we done? What have we done? Okay, well... I think we can probably try and recover here. Could we switch into Sceptile? We'll go down to a double edge. Cargo will go down to a double up. Uh, we're not going to be able to. We're better off trying to stall out a tailwind, I think, than anything else. Uh, we'll recover. We'll switch into Sceptile. I think Kyogre is going to be a better option if our tailwind goes down. Um, and then we've got two turns of Trick Room to take advantage of with Kyogre and hope that it's slower. Uh, what have we done? What have we done? There's a Moon Guys Beam. Where are you going? It's a hot or septile? Okay. Hyper voice. Yeah, it's gonna take. Kyogre would have had a chance to attack there. So they've made a nice play. But we're gonna need a double protect. We're gonna need a double protect, I think. And probably what they'll do is reverse the, the Trick Room on the last turn of our Tailwind. So we've got to hope that two Brave Birds is enough to get this Lunala in and that ho -Oh has enough in the tank to go for it. Now what we could potentially do here is predict that my opponent's not going to attack the Kyogre and double into that ho -Oh, expecting Kyogre to protect here. That could be an option for us. Um... Am I just going to Ice Beam? Am I going to Ice Beam the Salamence here? Do they double the Hot Oil? I reckon they do. I'm going to Ice Beam. Come on, we need to win this. We've got the Weather Ball. Lunala protecting. Hopefully we don't see a double edge into the Kyogre.
every time we get it wrong. Every time. Uh, okay, Brave Bird. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I mean, we can, we can recover this turn because I don't think a double up from both targets will take us down. And then the Trick Room will be faster than Salamence. Hot on might be able to come out of this on top, maybe. <sighs> Tailwinding when Trick Room goes up. We just didn't need to press that button. <sighs> I just didn't... Well, I think if you're so convinced that we're going to Tailwind in that situation, then it makes a lot of sense to do that. I just... Uh, personally, I didn't feel like you would go for that because I think... Um, matching Tailwind, if you've got it there, then it's probably better to do that because the Kyogre, the, the, the risk of us not Tailwinding there and you Trick Room and just loses you the game. So, but, you know, maybe we could have just held off a little bit as a double edge. Oh, I don't know if we're going to take a, a Moon Guys Beam, but we do actually. Uh, we're going to see, yeah, the Trick Room reverse now. Yeah, there we go. I mean, we can we can always just try and recover off and just let hope this Salamence. If this Salamence kills itself, then you know, because a double edge should proc a berry for us now. Yeah, it should proc a berry. Yeah, so this might just give us what we need to win out because I think. If we can, yeah, we're faster than Lunala as well, so that makes things a bit easier for us. Depends how much this does, though. Come on, Ho-Ho, can we win out? Now, I think if you're Salamence, you probably go Hyper Voice now. So I'm banking on the Hyper Voice here, rather than the Double Edge, which would knock itself out. Wide Guard. Doesn't want to attack. Or suspects, I don't know. Let's go on Double Edge. Okay. We should take this. Oh, we're going to knock ourselves out with Brave Bird, though. No! <laughs> this is like the worst end, unless we... <laughs> There's no way we pick up the knockout. There's no way. All we needed to do was recover. All we needed to do was recover. I thought you'd go Hyper Voice because you know that the Salamence goes down there and if we recover, we can beat the Lunala definitely one on one. The logic. Anyway, two good games today. I'm really disappointed with the result of this last one, but I feel positive about going into the rest of the week with the team. So positivity, hat on. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow and uh, we'll carry on with the team. Hopefully see a few other members of the team. That last match was definitely winnable. Uh, at least we got the weather ball off, though. That was ideal. Uh, just closing out that match was a little bit... Yeah, we made it uh, difficult for ourselves, didn't we? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. At least hope you found it entertaining and found some... Um, worth in septile yeah that would be good obviously and um, we'll be back tomorrow my friends have a great day whatever you're up to and i'll see you for the next one so until then take care and bye bye